Okay, hello YouTube world. <clears throat> this video is in response to one that a Matthew Ziegler had posted about his QDI X Plus 2. Um, I have got a 3D product that I've been selling for uh, over four years now. And my QIDI printers, the X Plus, um, the original X Plus, the new X Plus, um, and two original X Maxes have printed pretty much <clears throat> uh, 24 7 most of the time. So, um, anyway, I've got a lot of time, a lot of hours on it. And outside of having to uh, replace the, um, the tubes and the nozzles that comes around, I haven't had really an issue. And the issue I did have. Uh, on one of my X Maxes, QIDI uh, got on it promptly and it had it ready for me. Um, they uh, they sent me uh, some firmware updates and some things to try, and I got it done. I print nothing but PET G, and um, <clears throat> they come out beautifully. Uh, I'll switch this around. You can see, I have zero stringing in there. Um, the exterior looks very, very nice. Um, these corners, that angle down can be uh, could be a problem for for some printers. Um, took a few settings, and I'm good with it now. So, there's uh, the latest. Uh, no, no, that's my uh, first X Plus I bought, and this one here I got about four months ago. And these two X Maxes are going on, uh, well, they're going on four years old, as is this X Plus. Um, but this has been really good, thank God. And uh, so I have now added the one that he thought was so terrible, the X Plus 2. Um, that print that I just showed you that was flawless came off of this. It was the very first print. Um, I changed nothing. All the settings were the same. Now, I do run a dryer on all of them, and I haven't, the dryer that I bought for this one hasn't come. Um, the uh, dryers that I really like are these right here. So, I've got two of those there, and then sitting up here to take care of these two, um, I've got this one, and I like that one too. It seems to work well. But anyway, um, for those of you that are uh, tipped by that uh, video, um, there's no doubt he's having issues with it, but uh, that's uh, definitely not, um, in my experience anyway, uh, your typical QIDI machine. Who knows what's going wrong with it? There's a lot of things that can happen, give you issues. Um, you could get a bad batch of filament, which I have had. Um, and it, and it was Overture, and I printed Overture for well over four years. But I, I ordered four rolls, and all four rolls on all four machines suddenly just gave me fits with stringing and all kinds of issues, even um, after running them through the dryer. So um, I ended up tossing all four rolls and gambled and got another uh, four, and that four was perfect. All issues went away and as a matter of fact today I have 10 rolls coming in so um, and I'll go through those in the next month but so anyway there it is uh, who knows what uh, Matthew was going through um, I don't know whether he's got it fixed or not but uh, I hope he reached out to QID because QID has been fantastic for me um, so and there again um, I've been printing for um, four years now as a business. Um, I do very well. Uh, everything you see in here, I've got CO2 laser, I've got a 60 watt fiber laser. We're pretty much all paid for by what these machines made. So um, anyway, have a good day everyone. And yeah, this kind of went lengthy. Sorry about that. <laughs>